Prince Charles and William are about to hold a summit to reshape the monarchy after a series of storms hit the royal family. The two heirs to the throne will meet to discuss the future of the monarchy for the next two generations within weeks, The Telegraph reported. In consultation with the Queen, Britain's next two kings will decide how many full-time working members of the royal family should have, who they should be and what they should do. Her Majesty is said to have also stressed the importance of this after the end of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle review period in February and amid the decline of Prince Philip's health while he was in hospital. Sources told the Telegraph official all personal duties must be decided together because they are closely linked. Prince Charles is said to be taking the lead in the talks due to him becoming king first and because any immediate decisions will impact his reign. He is understood to have wanted his son, Prince William, involved every step of the way for major policies that affect him when he inherits the throne. It comes after the passing of the Duke of Edinburgh at the age of 99, who has left behind hundreds of patronages to be passed down, including his title. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's work will also be redistributed after they quit as working royals more than a year ago. Prince Andrew, who stepped back from royal duties following a Newsnight interview over his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, also has some roles and military titles which need to be allocated. Currently, around 15 members of the royal family take part in more than 3,000 royal duties each year. The Telegraph report said Charles and William, with the help of the Queen, would now have to decide whether the monarchy should continue with its traditional model of thousands of annual engagements spread over a broad base of full-time and part-time working royals or cut the number of engagements and patronages and use fewer members of the family. The newspaper's source said, The question is whether you start off by deciding how many patronages and engagements there should be and then work out how many people are needed to achieve them or whether you decide how many people there should be which will dictate how many engagements and patronages they can take on. The Queen's youngest child, Prince Edward and wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex, are expected to take over from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after Buckingham Palace confirmed last month they would not return following a 12-month review. It is known that Charles has long favoured a streamlined monarchy modelled around a core of seven, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, Prince Charles and his wife Camilla. Prince William and his wife Catherine, and Prince Harry. Although Harry is not in the direct line of succession, his role would have been to support the monarch until William's children, George, Charlotte and Louis, were old enough to take over royal duties themselves.